the 18th. And I'm finna take y'all to the gym with me and show y'all my workout. We have already arrived at the gym. I'm finna put my perfume on. Y'all, I always put perfume on when I go to the gym. I don't know. I wanna smell good at the gym. I don't know. What more is it for me to say? I already got my hair wrapped up for the simple fact of I'm not gonna sweat my edges up. I'm gonna put my shoes on. And y'all get to see me lift with long nails. Like, I always wear my nails long anyway, but I just took some short nails off. So we're gonna be making this video with some long nails. Long nail. I'm gonna have to put my headphones on. Okay, I already have them on. Did you look a little packed, bitch? I personally don't give a damn. I do sometimes because they get on my nerves. It's like, move out of my way. Like, stay out of my way. But it's okay. So. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. My tripod. We're going to see if they're going to let me take this. You know, it's also like they're not going to know. How would they know? They're going to know. How would they know? So, let's go. Hey, girl, get the kids stashed up. All right, y'all. We're going to stretch when we get to the gym. Before you get to working them muscles, shawty, you got to stretch or you're going to be looking real ugly. So, make sure you stretch. All right, y'all. So, the first thing we're going to start out with is going to be our back squats. Now, our back squats going to work our quads and our gluteus maximus. Don't play. So, we're going to do four sets of heavy lifting. Heavy as you can. Four sets of 10. Don't cheat yourself now. Treat yourself. Make sure you're squatting as low as you can go. You don't want your back to hurt, but you do want to squat as low as you can. And y'all, I had to take off one of them damn weights because that shit was too damn heavy. I think I had put 35 on there. Mm -mm. Take that shit off. I just need 25. I'm telling y'all, when you done with this shit right here, you gonna feel like you just wanna walk out the fucking gym. But we not walking out the fucking gym. We wanna fucking feel like, oh my God, our legs hurt. This right here gonna take you out, but this gonna set it off for your whole workout. Listen to me. Now we're going into our bulging split squats. As you can see, I am a Smith Machine hogger and I don't give a fuck. Anyways, um, I ain't get no good angle of these right here. So I'm finna insert a video right there. And this is what you need to be doing. These gonna build that cuff up under that booty. If you want a cuff to your butt, then you need to be doing these. If you're not doing these, you're not gonna have a cuff. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When you're doing your bulgarian split squats, you want to make sure you at a 90 degree angle. Okay? And then, you know, just bend, lean forward. Make sure you lean forward because if you lean back, you're going to be working on your quads. Now, if you want to work your quads, that's on you. But I, I want to lift more of my butt, not my quads. So, I'm going to lean a little bit forward. Just listen to me. Hear me out now. Now, these... These is the holy grail to building a dumpy in the gym. If you a girl and you looking to build your ass and you ain't doing hip thrusts, my girl, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? These right here, these right here, these are one of my favorite exercises, y'all. Like hip thrusts, gonna have your legs shaking. If your man ain't making your legs shake, these gonna make your legs shake. And your ass gonna be on fire. But when you get up, you're going to have a booty pump. Trust me. So we're going to do four sets 
Y'all, I don't know how many reps I be doing these. I be doing these hoes to, I be by my ass feel like it's about to fall on the ground. I don't know. Look, look at me. I'm regretting the shit right now. Look at that. Look at that. That shit hurt, bro. I'm telling you. But these is these the holy grail. I'm telling you. So do four sets of ten. You know, if you're a beginner in the gym, you're gonna do four sets of ten. Look at me. Can't even get my ass up. Okay, the left is before what we just did, and the right is after. You see the swellness? Oh, y'all, I'm sleeping. It's 9.43, and we're doing this. But anyways, so then we're going to go straight into our kneeling leg curls. We're going to do four sets of 10. And y'all see how my muscles pulling on the side and right down the middle of my thigh? Yeah, these work your hamstrings. So this is the muscle that's connected to your butt. That man just looked at my butt, y'all. What the hell? Y'all, I caught him. I ain't see this, y'all, before I just edit this video. But anyways, um, yeah, do your four sets of your 10. You're going to do it on each leg. And you're going to be feeling real sore, but you're going to feel real good afterwards. It's okay. All right, y'all, we're going to do leg extensions. This is our last real tough workout. We're going to do four sets of 10. Put it on whatever weight feel comfortable for you. Let that seat up and get to work. Now, you can tell by the look on my face that these hurt. But if you want big quads, which is your thighs, then you do this. Okay? Okay. All right, now y'all, the last thing we're gonna do before I um, get on the stairs, y'all, I do stretch because it is good for you to stretch after. You're gonna feel a lot better if you stretch after you get done working out, I promise. Especially if you do lower body day, like it's, you're gonna feel so much better if you stretch because you're still gonna be sore, hell, but you're gonna feel better. But we're gonna end our workout out with um, the step master. Um, I do like mine by floors. So I might do 15 floors. Some days I might do 10 floors. It just all depends on how I feel. Now, I do do level 7, level 8. You know what I'm saying? Straight through. But if you're a beginner, start slow. Start yourself off at like level 3 or 4. Now, I ain't going to say level 1 because you're doing this too damn low. But do like level 4, 5. And this is going to make your legs hurt too. But this is going to help build your muscle off of all the workouts that you just did so please do not skip this and it's good cardio so don't don't skip this if you're on your leg days please y'all we done left the gym and i got me a smoothie like okay after you leave the gym, y'all, after y'all put in some work in the gym, like, your biggest thing is you want to get a protein shake or you want to eat. Or you want to, if you're trying to gain weight, you want to eat and drink a protein shake. But if you're a beginner, like, you just kind of, like, starting out or it's been a couple months and it's kind of hard for you to drink the smoothie and eat, you will get there. Like you will try, your body will eventually start to see like you're trying to intake more. So it'll start to adjust and start to intake more. But it's the days where I don't eat after I leave the gym. I just drink a smoothie. But it's your body, what you eat or drink after your workout and you trying to gain, it's very important. Like it's so important. You got to put something in now because you just burnt so much calories. You just burnt out a lot. So you got to put that calories, that protein, the carbs, but you got to put that back in your body, right? Um, I'm going to put the fat for Booty King Hope on the screen somewhere. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. These Hope got 120 something grams of protein. I mean, uh, 122 grams of sugar, or like 134 in the medium. Now, I'm not a snack person. I don't eat a lot of snacks. Now, if you eat a lot of snacks, I wouldn't say get these. And I'm gonna say, and the reason why I say that is because it has a lot of sugar in it. I drink one of these like every day. Like literally every day, or at least four or five times out of the week. Now, they do have something called a gladiator, they got strawberry, chocolate, and I think vanilla. 
it has like 48 grams of protein but it only got like 220 calories right but it don't got no sugar in it which means it's healthier for you versus this hulk has the medium hulk got like 1300 calories 30 something grams of protein but it got a lot of sugar in it but the hulk is beneficial to me because it comes with a lot of calories so i don't have to eat so many meals or try to eat big old portions of meals if I'm like working on busy and stuff because I'm grabbing one of these and it's got like 1300 calories so that's cutting my calorie intake in half so the other 1300 that I got an intake won't be so hard because you know you're still gonna try to eat lunch you're still gonna eat lunch you're still gonna eat breakfast and you're probably gonna get you a snack in between and I'm pretty sure that's gonna total you up to your calories that you need for the day so that's very important the gladiator I'm gonna try the gladiator one day Today, I just didn't want to do it. I said, I missed 10. I'm going to try it for like a week now. But I'm going to try it one day this week. I might try it Friday. But I just, the gladiator just wouldn't be beneficial to me for the calories. Because that means that I'm still, like I said, even though, like, nah, I'm going to take that back. If you still going to eat, you probably won't need this. I like to eat with this because it helps my calories and I'm still getting my breakfast, right? Because I like to go to the gym early in the morning. But you can still eat a drink a gladiator and eat you know what i'm saying to still make up for the calories maybe you know but me i'm just trying to get as much calories as much protein in my body as possible because i'm really trying to bulk up and put on weight because we are most of the summer in the mini baby i'm trying to be real fun so you just have to find what works for you like what works for me might not work for you you know what i'm saying i'm just giving you insight of what i do on my journey, my workout journey, right? So yeah. That's that. So fine would work for you, but I know that the whole has benefited me so much in the long run. It has helped my muscle gain so much. And I'ma insert a before picture and uh after which I see what I look like now, but I'm gonna insert a before picture. So y'all can see where I came from, like my first dang on week in the gym. Like I came a long way. And to be honest with y'all, I still weigh the same amount that I weighed a year ago. I have just muscled up. So it looks like I put on a lot of weight, but I really just muscled up. So learn what's worse for you. What worked for everybody ain't gonna work for the next person. We know that you have to go to the gym play around sometimes and figure out what works for you y'all i'm really trying to work on the ebook to drop for my fitness like you know what i'm saying to help people because i ain't gonna lie i've been doing like the same workout routine for like the whole year but i've been like taking an exercise out and replacing with another one but still keeping two or three from my previous workout if that makes sense like I don't just completely drop out my workout and do a whole new workout. But that's what has been working for me, like I said. So that's something I'm trying to work on, an ebook, you know, eating stuff. And I'm still trying to I don't I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not eat like off the grid, just whatever the hell I want. Because that should start going to your gut. I don't have no waistline, I don't have no good, no nothing. And I've been working out for a whole year. And I don't eat, I do eat fast, not, not fast food. I do eat fried chicken, y'all. I love fried chicken. But lately, I've been easing up on fried chicken. More so getting into like my baked chicken, egg fish, you know, stuff like that. But I don't eat a lot of fast food at all. Like, it has to be like I'm in a dead ass, I don't got nothing else to eat. I'm hungry as hell and I need to hurry to eat something food for me to eat fast food i do not like fast food and that comes with working out like once you start working out like your body what it won't any it, it's gonna change like it's gonna start to crave different stuff honestly on its own but i don't eat a lot of fast food don't really eat a lot of fried i try to eat a lot of fried food i don't eat pork I don't eat beef unless I'm eating steak. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. I don't eat beef as in, like, everyday basically eat hamburgers and all that type of stuff. But I will get a steak. If I go out to eat, I'm definitely going to eat me a steak. 
because I mean it's gonna help with the protein you know what I'm saying so like you don't have to completely cut everything out of your diet it's all about portioning stuff so I don't eat no beef like on a regular basis like going out oh let me get a hamburger no I'm not doing that so yeah it's just something like this this gym shit is like a, a learning process it's a learning journey like it's something that's gonna forever be going with the learning you forever have to learn it you know so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys try my workout if you do try my workout i hope you guys let me know how it worked for you and if y'all want another video i will be more than happy to drop a beginner friendly workout video for y'all because i know for a fact my workout is not beginner friendly but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend to come over to my channel and chit chat let's be friends